Okay, walking up to the house. This is our next to final walkthrough. The house is basically done with just a few little items remaining. There's some construction noise here, so I apologize for that. But I'm gonna start with the garage. It's the solar panel area. The over sprinkler system. This is the hot water heater, the on-demand tankless, the loop for the water softener, and then the water shutoffs and fire sprinkler items. See the outside elevation of the house with Jack's balcony. Okay, so here's the stairs back to the front door and then coming up to the loft area. Jack, no eating in the loft. This really cool fossil marble top. Let's see if I can get in close enough. This is Jack's room. Balcony, Jack's bathroom, check out that cool tile, it's the laundry room, again really cool tile in here, you can't probably see the detail, but here is Natalie's room. Bathroom. And again, really cool tile. And then on down to the adult bedroom. Of some sort of orchard, could be avocados, could be citrus, I'm not sure. Here we're going into the adult bathroom. Now the idea here was to create sort of an outdoor shower feel, but in an indoor bathroom. So you've got the ceramic tile, wood look tile, flowing in to the shower enclosure up the sides of the walls, the pebbled finish on the bottom, and then you've got that marble seat that ties in with the marble over here. Master closet. Decent size, not too exciting yet. So I think we're going to be working with Alfie to make this into a little paradise for our clothes. Another view of the hills. And standard in all of Jenny's houses is the Harry Potter room. And this Harry Potter room, as I duck down here, Goes above and beyond and all the way under. Coming through here, turn left into our downstairs bathroom, the guest bathroom. Now, this one's gonna have some real crazy wallpaper on the walls at some point to accent the tower. You can see this herringbone pattern on the tile. Now here's Jenny's office. No light in here yet, we'll have to put it in. A fairly standard room. But this is a super cool rain gauge that tells the sprinkler system not to turn on if it's raining. The great room. And it is great. Kitchen here. We'll be sourcing the refrigerator shortly. We do have a pantry as I sneak my arm out to open it. with plugs so we can put a toaster in there and burn the house down. You can see the backsplash there with the dark gray subway tile, white marble, some appliances that'll be a lot more fun to cook on than the ones we're cooking on now. Just a few cabinets, top and bottom, three panel window. I wanna get a good shot of this amazing island. So much movement in that marble, 
Awesome contrast. Jenny picked that out. Nicely done. Panning around. It's the great room. This is going to be way more interesting once it's got furniture and rugs and a big topaz colored couch. Now it's rained here in Southern California for the last couple of days. That doesn't happen a lot, but when it does, things get a little bit muddy. So we're not going to go outside today. But you can see the backyard from inside. And thank you for taking this tour with us today of our new house. We'll do another one once the furniture's in.